Hey, what's up, guys? This is 3D Bonfire back with another tasty tutorial. And this time it's all about these crunchy little tasty nuggets of cereals dissolving into nothing. You can get them also with a delicious strawberry flavor here. And then you can see that they are flying away in a beautiful pattern, dissolving into nothing. But of course, you could also reverse this effect to get a reveal effect. So I share the knowledge of a dissolve and a reveal effect in just one tutorial. Isn't that amazing? And I think that we should just dive into cinema for D and have some fun. One last thing that I want to mention is that you will get the full package of knowledge on my Patreon as usual. So here on YouTube, you will get the short version of the knowledge, but then the in-depth knowledge will be as usual on my Patreon. So it would be just amazing to see you there. But other than that, you could also please support me here on YouTube by subscribing, ringing the bell, leave a comment, do the good stuff, share some 3D love. All right. But now let's fire up Cinema 4D and just have some fun. All right, guys, finally in Cinema 4D. And by the way, this is my project for that I will share with you on my Patreon. But I think here on YouTube, let's just start from scratch here and share a little bit of the technique that I used here. So for example, I guess you also want to start with a text. And of course, I mean, you could do whatever you want here. I want to do a C, for example, for Cocoa Pops. And let me just search for a nice font. I think that this one is cool. Super Mario 265. Okay, this is beautiful. So let's just try this letter here. And um, I think we can make this one a little bit thicker, something like this one. Press C to make this one editable. And let me tell you that depending on how complex your geo is, this effect will be faster or slower. So you do yourselves a favor if you first get rid of the word axis, by the way, but also use a polygon object with less polygons. I mean, this one is extreme. And of course, you could also put this one into a builder and the measure, do something like this, then put it into a remesure to get an object like this one. And this polygon density will also be fine. And I guess that something like this one will also be fine. But I think the higher you go with your polygons on your object, the slower the whole process will be. So let's just do something like this one. And by the way, everything will work just better when you put a collider tag onto it because the setup we will use will depend on your physics. Okay, so this is one of the secrets that are already revealed. And now I would say let's just go here to the measure and put a basic emitter into the scene. And let's just emit from our object. You can see that this mesh emitter is connected to our object if you had it selected when you create the emitter. And now let's just see what is happening. We emit particles from this object. What a beautiful start here. But I think we want to have more. So let's just put this one to 10,000. And I think we just want to use a shot, but also with no speed. So let's get rid of the speed. Let's see this once again. Now we have these particles on our object, but these ones, they are just drawn as dots with a size of one. So I don't want to do that, but I want to show the radius of these ones. So now you can see the radius of these particles. This is just a really great start here. Okay. But now let me also think about to put a slight vibration onto our object here. So let's put the object to maybe 50 and 50 and 50 and put this one to 0 0.3. Also go into the rotation. Let, let's not go too crazy. Let's do something like this one. Now you have your object moving, but the particles are not following. So there is an object, especially for that case, and you could use a surface attract modifier here. Let me just put this one down here, go into the surface attract, and you need to set this one to apply the object's velocity. Let me just see. Now the particles are following. You could use this one in follow or attract mode. I want to switch this one to attract mode because um, I don't even know if there is a good reason for it, to be honest, but this just feels better for me. So what I also want to do with these particles is to maybe just make them bigger, put this one to two. Now they are bigger, but they all intersect with each other. So therefore you could go to modifier and put in a flock modifier. This is another secret that I will share with you here. Put cohesion to zero and zero and just the separation strength. You could set this one to two and 0 0.5, for example, or maybe even one or so. But now these particles, they respect each other's radius and try to get away from each other. I will make this one more obvious by reducing the count to 5,000. Now you can just see this one better. Okay. And what else we want to do now? I think that now we want to reveal or dissolve this one. Okay. I mean, it's already revealed. So let's do the dissolve on it. So I think that the best way to do it would be to switch the group. And then when particles switch in the other group, you just let them disappear. So therefore you could use different conditions here, for example, a time condition. But I think the simplest way to show this one would be a field condition. So let's just use a linear field here. And I think you 
should just shorten this one a little bit, reverse it. Let's start from here and I will put a keyframe onto it. Let's just go over to 120, for example. Let's move this one over. Let me just see if something is happening. Okay, nothing is happening right now. But now let's say when the field condition is true, then let's switch the group and how to make this one active you need to put this one into the hierarchy so now when the field condition is true you want to switch the group therefore you also need another group here let's set this one to particle group 2 let's put the particle group 2 into the target group and let's also go into this one set this one to constant and set this one to red i think i also want to draw the radius for it put the size to zero let's go to the first particle group here and i think i want to just set this one to today i feel like a blue tone would be the right for me so let's just see if something is happening yes you can see the field condition is true it's switching the particle group and now for example you could go into secondary group put a gravity into this one now the gravity because it's a child of group two will only have an effect on the secondary particle group you can see the magic is already happening i will reduce the acceleration here to 400 and maybe i also want to put in some turbulence let's put this one to 20 and 2. Let me see if we get a more interesting pattern here. Okay, I guess you put this one a bit higher. Let's put this one to 6 and 40. Let me see this once again. All right, it's more interesting, but I want to set this one to 12. Let's see it once again, and you get a really nice dissolve here. And I mean, I already shared a lot of the secret sauce here. So I think I will share only one more secret with you, all right? So I'm just thinking about what else we can do here. So maybe we want to put the data mapper into the secondary group. And let's say that dependent on the distance traveled of these red particles, the radius will change in in a linear fashion so let's reset this one and let's reverse this one and so let's set the distance travel to 0 to 200 and let's put the lower out to 2 let's just see what will happen now maybe I messed this one up you can see I did it just in the wrong way so let's try it in a different way let's put the 2 into the upper output and there you can see that this one is dissolving let's just increase the upper in to 150 so this one will not happen so fast but there you can see now this letter is dissolving and now I shared a lot of the secret source of this beautiful effect here. Here I just do it a little bit more advanced and use some more modifiers to make it even more elegant. I will actually even use a more clever setup to reduce the radius of our particles in a more beautiful way not dependent on the distance traveled. So if you are curious about more particles knowledge feel free to check out my Patreon but other than that thank you so much for your time here on YouTube. Have an amazing day. Be powerful be prolific, eat your cereals. Bye everyone.